Welcome everybody to today's English program. We're working today with a student of PCG and with them we're going to talk about leadership. Can you give us the different steps of the program? Thank you, Jay-Z. My name is Ebeson Augustin and I'm a, an English teacher and the founder of English Club New Generation. Okay, today what we're going to have is a, a session of four activities, okay? And the first activity is going to be a speech about leadership. The second activity is a quote, okay? And the third one, a picture interpretation and a game about leadership. Before the last activity, which is a poem, the students are going to cover a song by Adele, someone like you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Let's now go for the first activity. We are going to listen to the president of the English Club New Generation, Miss Mafirma Kamarate, who is going to deliver <laughs> her speech. My name is Kamagate Maferima. I'm the chair ladies of ECNG. I'm happy to be here with you for the extraordinary session which is taking place in our school with famous Jay-Z from Hello. <laughs> the fundamental values of ECNG is to promote integrity, dedication to excellence, the service uh, to the members and the respect of one another. There's a value which requires a good and strong organization, conviction and integrity as a core point in every decision we take. These values give a way not only to lead, but also to get involved into all our activities, planning and our vision to the future. This is all about our club. Good session at all. We'll have Sankar Mokhtar with a speech one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. I'm Mr. Sankar Rashid Mokhtar. I'm the vice president of the English club New Generation, and I'm going to talk to you about the leadership. Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Thomas Sankara, Barack and Michelle Obama. I wish to ask you, what do you think about these names? I'll probably get more and different answer, but I'm sure that all of them will be summarized in only one word, leadership. Many people believe that leadership is simply being the first, the most powerful, or the biggest, but they are wrong. A leader is someone who sets in an effort or text and influence or motivates people to do that direction. It's so, it is the influence of that individual exert on, on achievement of the other in an organizational context. That influence is based on a a reciprocal trust between the leader and the other group members. To get people in agreement with, his, with him, a good leader should, should get some professional and non-professional qualities and skills. But we should know that these skills and qualities 
are, aren't something in bread in a human being. On the contrary, it is something we learn through several experiences. When I look around me, I see dynamic and ambitious young people. So thus, future leaders who only expecting a help to express their skills. I encourage young people to be a leader as me because it's one of the ways to success. And I finally invite you to keep your calm, be positive, and carry on your life. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you to Mr. Sankara for the speech about leadership. We now going to see some expression related to leadership with the students. Let's follow. Thank you, Greg Dominic and Kaku Marilyn for the picture to comment. Now we are welcoming Aka Nelly and Quadro Regina for the grammar activity. We are here to talk about leadership. So our role today will consist of giving you some words and expression about leadership, which is the main topic of the day. Our first word will be leader. Leaders represent a kind of person who can manage people. In example, as we look ahead into the next century, leaders will be those who empower others. The following word will be success. We can define success as the fact that someone is able to reach his goal. The last word will be listen of fail failure. Lessons of failure. This expression means our experiences of failure, order, how we react after a failure. At the end of all, we want to retain that a good leader must be a person who takes good note of its failure to reach success. Thank you. We are still dealing with leadership. And in the following rubric, we're going to learn the name of some leaders. For instance, Ufwe Boyne was a leader. Let's learn more. We're going to have here Miss Asietu and Yofu Junior, who are the commentators of the day fought. Former US President Dwight T. Eisenhower said, and I quote, leadership is the fact of getting someone else to do something you want done because he wants to do it. Leadership can be understood in the leader notion. The leader is, in fact, a person responsible for many other and whose ideas, opinion, and force allow them to mind up. It has impact on them and helps them to become better so they, could, so they could improve their level of potentiality. Eisenhower wanted us to know that, firstly, leadership is in heart because he requires technique, imagination, motivation, and character. Secondly, the leader inspires his will into his followers' hearts to do what he wants to do, so the leader is firstly a good communicator. Thirdly, the leader makes sure that his collaborators don't feel like that they are obliged. So our message is to encourage many students to become leader of tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to have Maido Banadej, who will present the board camp. Uh, we have two groups, and each group will be made, made up of five members. We have group A at my right and group B at my left. And I will tell each member one, uh, a name of a leader, and they will give index to each member of their group for them to find the right person. OK, guys. Let's get started. Team A, come over. Uh, 
and first president. Felix okay. okay, let's go over to Team B. Please, Miss, come over. Uh, Africa. Nonviolence. No? Nelson Mandela. Okay, uh, let's go over to Team A. May I please come over? Okay, uh, Congo. You know? Mm, leader. Okay, Team B, come. Okay. Okay, guys, listen, listen. Liberia, woman, first president. Next. First, black president. Barack Obama. Uh, Chancellor of Germany. The Chancellor of Germany and uh, leader of the Christian Democracy. Angela Michael. So we we'll go back to Team B. Please come. America. Stop slavery. Abraham Lincoln. Thank you guys who have come to the end of this game and the winner is Team B. After the name of the leaders, we're now going to have a break. And for this break, we invite you to follow a song covered by the students. And the title of this song is Someone Like You. It's sung by Adele. Let's follow. I heard that you settled down, that you found a girl in you, married now. I heard that your dreams came 
true. Yes, you gave the fame. I didn't give to you. Oh, friends, why are you so shy? I like you the whole bag. Oh, hide from the light. I had to turn up a little blue on a body, but I couldn't say the way. I couldn't fight and lie. Of it in my face, and that to be with my and that for me it is an over. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Hello, dear comrades. Hello. My name is Michael Namour. Uh, I'm a student at ECG and a member of the ECNG club. To me, leadership is something you have inside of you. If you want to lead, it means you can become a leader. Everybody can be a leader. It's not something you are born with, but more like something you get as you grow up. But not everyone can be a good leader. To be a great leader, you must understand the people that you have to work with. You must listen to them and take the decisions that seem to you the more appropriate. You should learn to work in group. But it's also important to take decisions when you have to take them. To be charismatic is not sufficient. You must also have convictions. But most importantly, a great leader is someone who has a vision and knows to stay humble. Thank you. Thank you to Sarah and Alison for the karaoke. Let's now see a poem about leadership. Kamagate Maferima, come back to say a poem. Leadership is to create, undertake, and act. Cannot be leaders without all of her undertake some actions. This is why I propose this poem, I know. I will give you the earth to undertake and be leaders. Poem Risking. Love is to risk happening foolish. Weep is to risk happening sentimental. 
go to someone is to risk engaging. Expose feelings is to risk exposing his inner self. Present his idea, his dream, is to risk losing them. To love, is to risk not being loved in return. To live, is to risk dying. To hope, is to risk despair. Try, is to risk fear. But we must take risks because the greatest hazard in the life is to risk nothing at all. The one who risks nothing does nothing, has nothing and is nothing. It may avoid suffering and sorrow, but it learns nothing, feels nothing, cannot change or grow, can neither love nor live cannot change or grow. The one who risks nothing does nothing, has nothing and is nothing. It may avoid suffering and sorrow, but it learns nothing, feels nothing, cannot change or grow, can neither love nor live. Changed by his certitude, he becomes a slave, gives up his freedom. Only those who risk are free. So starting from this poem, I would like to encourage all young people like me to be leaders through the action and habit, their talent, and their will. Rick's now to be a leader tomorrow. Thank you. Once again, we want to thank you Jay-Z for being with us today, and thanks ETI2 for visiting us and allow us to present to the whole nation, to Côte d'Ivoire, what we are doing here as promoting English in a French-speaking country. To let all Ivorians know that we can be in an, a French-speaking country and practice English and speak English, and it is possible. Thank okay. you. We also thank you for your collaboration. We thank all the viewers and we give you an appointment for next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Come on, baby. Don't be afraid. Come on, baby. It's not too late. Say you do. Won't you?